Okay guys, welcome back to Forensics Detailing Channel. A few things on today's video. Kent Car Care products, you may have heard of these. We talked about them years ago in the um, wash mitt video. Now they sell these noodle sponges and noodle wash mitts and they're available from Amazon for about £3.99 delivered or you can get all three, the drying towel, the noodle and the wash mitt for £12. That's what I did. Uh, on Amazon and it turned up the next day. So that's a pretty good price. I'll put a link for it in the description if you want it. You might be able to get a better price if you go into the big shops that sell them. I don't know. Comment on the description if you know what the price is in B&Qs and stuff like that. Maybe Halfords if they sell them in Halfords. First of all, guys, the Chanel wash mitt. Talked about this before on the channel. Um, now, when I first started doing the channel, for years before doing the channel, I used the Halfords sponge, which was a blue thing, a bit like this, with a sponge in it, and it cost about three pounds, and it lasted me for years, and that's what I used to use to wash my car. I always thought it was a really safe thing. But as I got, kind of got into detailing, I just tried some other products, and I was kind of convinced they were safer, um, and they were just better, and I just preferred them. And I'm talking about the Microfiber Madness in Pad, the Duca wash mitt, and the CarPro Sequartz wash mitt, like my two favourites. Now, about one year ago or less, we did a best kind of wash mitt test with the Pro Detailers magazine, where we tested all of these different formats, Chanel's, wool, synthetics, brushes. We tested them on soft acrylic plastic, we tested the ability for the material itself when it's dry to mar, just to give us a comparison. We tested the ability of it to mar on this plastic when it's wet and these materials are all new and clean. And then we put a simulated dirt film over them and then washed them off with all of the mediums and then photographed, you know, got the right light on these acrylic test slides and looked at which ones were the most scratched. And the clear winner in that test was the cheap, you know, unbranded Chanel microfiber, like this, you know, the noodle. And I'm not 100% sure why, but I think it's got something to do with just these little tendrils have, you know, they have loads of microfiber kind of strands on them. And I don't know, I, I just, it just feels safe and it is a safe wash mitt. Yes, how you use the wash mitt and pre-washing is, you know, it doesn't guarantee that you're not going to scratch your car if you use this, or if you're using wool, you're going to get more scratches than the Chanel, you know. I know most of you know that, but some of you don't. Um, but when we did the test, this came out on top, really, really important. Um, now, I thought I would go back and just get some of these. What do I think about them, guys? Well, first off, you've got to decide whether or not you want the sponge or the mitt. And again, from using both of them, my preference is actually the sponge. Mainly because I can just get my hand off it instantly and leave it on the car. And if I want to flip it over, I can just flip it and use this mesh shy to, to clean the glass. You know, if I've got any bugs on the glass or something. I wouldn't use this side perhaps on paint. Um, well, I would on the Gulf, but you know, <laughs> you know as, a, as a matter of principle. This thing here, it has the stitching down there, so you, it separates your two hands, which helps keep it stable but if you want to spin it round to use the other side you, you need two hands and it's a little bit more awkward um, you can of course use these without putting your hands in them but it kind of defeats the object so my preference is the sponge the cool thing about the sponge is it's tapered in so you can get hold of it it's not sort of you haven't got to stretch your hand it just fits into your hand nicely so that when you're doing the side of the car in the lower area you're not going to drop it um, I think for three pound ninety nine this noodle sponge is really really good another good thing about these sponges and these noodles generally is i think they also release dirt pretty well pretty well not as good as the microfiber madness in credit pad but when you go over and you pick up dirt on this and you see it's discolored and you go into the bucket and scrub it against the grit guard washboard it really um it really just releases all of the dirt out of these noodles and you go back onto the panel and it's clean so you're not kind of going back with a really dirty wash medium. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna overcomplicate it. What I'm gonna say is if you're looking for quite a cheap um, product, you should definitely check out these Kent Car Care noodles or 
Does it really matter what type of noodle you, you want to buy? No, it really doesn't. They're all pretty really good. Um, but these are cheap enough, whereas if you can beat them on price, you're only going to beat them by a quid or something like that, where it doesn't matter. These have got a bit of padding in them as well, these, these gloves, so they store a little bit more products. They're just good. So that's it. I don't need to talk about them too much. Next thing I want to explore on the channel, guys, is these Kent car care drying towels. Now these, the reason I'm looking at these is because they're cheap and they won like the Auto Express best drying towel many, many years ago. And they cost four pounds. And a lot of people use these, a lot of guys in the trade tell me they go and buy like 10 of these and they just use them throughout the day. You know, and at the end of the day, they've got 10 wet towels, they go in the wash and then they use them again the next day. And then after a year or so, you know, they'll go and buy 10 more and they're more cost effective to buy loads of these than the other towels, which are like, can be like 10 to 15 pounds each. For me though, I find this cloth is a little bit on the thin, floppy side. It just doesn't have, I like a higher plush, you know, 1200 GSM coral fleece towel that's nice and really thick and dense. I just prefer something like that. It holds its shape better. I also found that about halfway through when the towel was fully damp, it just wasn't working so well. And it really needs, you really need to buff with this towel because it doesn't hold its shape either. Um, for me, it's got two different piles as well. It's a flat pile on one side, you know, it's dual pile. And then the plusher closed loop side. Um, and a lot of times you actually, with these big 1200 GSMs, towels they're two towels stuck together so they get a lot more they're a lot more dense and that's part of the reason that I think you pay you know north of 10 pounds for a plush coral fleece towel from the detailing scene so it's a game with two halves guys it's a massive yes for me on these Kent car Kent car care noodle things I can't see any reason why you wouldn't like these you might have a preference for something else but that's down to you I'm telling you these are pretty good products for the price this one, I can understand it's a viable product. The first thing you should do is have a look at it just to make your own mind up. But for me, I won't be buying the Kent car care drying towels and using them, but I'm glad I got a chance to explore them and I get it. I can see why they're, they're widely used. They work basically, but they're not as good as some of the towels that I think I've reviewed in the past. So I hope that comes across as fair. Okay guys, I just want to quickly end this video with a quick update on durability on Hybrid Solutions Turtle Wax Ceramic Spray Coating. It's a mouthful. Um, I put that on my car, the Golf, on half of it about three to four months ago. Probably, I don't know the exact date, probably closer, about let's just say three and a half months roughly. Uh, or longer than three months. <laughs> um, the good news is, this product is still there. It's still... I can still see one half of the car without it on. The water is just stuck to the panel and it's not moving there. And on the other side, the water just sort of clears itself off and you can see the difference. And that side with the product on is slightly easier to dry. Has it kept the side of the car with the product on cleaner than the side without it? No, not that I can observe, but it's kind of winter road film. I don't think any protection product you're ever gonna get is gonna show like half the car dirty and half the car clean. I've never seen that, you know, never seen that. Even with a ceramic, maybe, who knows? You let me know on that. Um, it's definitely easier to dry though. So that's the good news. I think one coat of this will do up to six months. And if you put two coats of it on, you might get up to their 12 month claim. I don't know, unless you're actually testing it, you know, in the flesh and this is in the flesh, you'll never really know. But it's a definitely a durable product. You'll want like a product like this or their detail spray, some sort of drying aid that you're using when you wash the car, that you can go over the panels and help dry them. Um, and just, you know, busting out the ceramic wet wax just made this towel work so much better. You know, especially on that hydrophilic non-protected side where the water wants to stick to the panel and it's just smearing around, it's harder to pick up. You get this spray involved and suddenly that panel goes back clean, you know, goes back dry and it's all glossy and you've got protection. So drying aids are important, aren't they? It's just picking the one that you want to use. But yeah, this ceramic wet wax makes sense to kind of use it with their ceramic spray coating. So that is that. I also got a chance to check out this iron cleaner from um, BD, 
blitz detailing. They sent this in to me very kindly. Guys, great, you can see it in action. It's thick, it's foamy. Yes, it has a bit of a pong, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a TGA based one, so it's gonna turn purple and it's gonna stink, but it has a slight cherry scent to it. Good results, decent bottle. Getting a little bit of choking out on the bottle, which you can get, so if you get like a thicker plastic, you know, if you get like a thicker plastic, it won't choke out, but it's still a decent bottle that you can get your hands on and a decent trigger spray. So yeah, reasonably impressed with this, guys. Check it out, I'll stick a link for it in the description. That is Blitz Detailing Iron Extreme. Um, I've been trying to use this rebound um, tire and rubber cleaner from Auto Glands, which is, seems to be legit, guys. That is a really strong rubber cleaner that works really well. And this time around, I've used the TAC Mystic Bubble as the shampoo, which I think is such a nice, dense foam. It is a really great shampoo, this one. Um, yeah, it's good, it cleans well, it's slick, it's thick, it's reasonably priced, and it's a 500 to 1 concentrate, and it's good on coated cars and stuff like that. I think it came third or second, I can't remember, in my shampoo test. So I just thought I'd mention that. You can get that, I'll stick that in the link in the description as well. And you may, guys, be looking at this. I'm not sure the time of shooting this if I've done a video on my tool wall. But I've just finished making a tool wall, which is awesome. And I'll, I'll show you that in another video. It's finished now. Uh, we've got a mother of all storms. Sorry, just spit over you, coming in tonight. 80 mile an hour winds. So I'm gonna get all of the test panels back into the garage get my um, red peril back into the garage nice and safe now and just go around and make sure that there's nothing outside that can go blasting around because those are 80 mile an hour is getting strong isn't it there's an orange warning for the area so stay safe guys um, you know try and get everything tucked away and uh, I'll see you soon on the forensics detailing channel thank you very much for watching bye for now